Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're getting pretty close to the end here. Um, I'm gonna do one more free tutorial here, um, and then you know we'll frame it up, just kind of slap this together, finalize this thing. But afterwards, if you did get the DVD, I'm gonna have this extra one where I'm gonna go refine everything. It's gonna be very elaborate as far as like tricks that uh, I would do for this. I'm probably gonna make him look a little Jesus-esque with maybe a halo type thing. Probably gonna add a little shadow uh, to move it in and then you know I'm gonna finalize it all by touching up the contrast to make the, the image finalize but you know for you dudes on the, the internet you know or dudettes you guys or girls watching I'm just gonna show you how to do a frame in this tutorial but uh, definitely consider picking up the DVD it's got a lot of extra stuff including how to finish up this you know photo you learned a lot of good stuff today but uh you know, you might as well learn how to finish it up, but also I'm going to include some uh, templates, you know, uh, uh, on, on the disc. So anybody that orders stuff will get a lot of uh, extra stuff that you can end up tweaking out. And uh, it'll even save you some time um, as, as far as, uh, you know, professional image stuff. But, okay, so let's get started here. I'm going to show you how to frame this up, you know. Let's get this cracking. So I'm going to import my, my favorite uh, frame you know, um, which is, and I'll, I'll find it, I got it on, a, it on a flash drive, I got this from DeviantArt, um, you know, compliments of, let's see, where did I do it, I got a Skilar stock, um, I use this forever, all the time, um, but uh, yeah, props to him, and you know, I'll just use his image is just kind of an example of how you can use that that uh, border. You can do a, a plain border if you wanted, and I'll show you how to do that in like two seconds. So I'll show you how to do that real quick. Let's go to the top. You know, uh, there's probably a preset. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with white borders. So I'm gonna pick white. I'm going to click the square box. Let's go ahead and do that, and boom, cover the whole thing. What you want to do next is second click on shape. You know, this the the white front thing we got second click rasterize layer I'm gonna click the marquee and then I, I usually do this kind of little thing where I put the two where you know the, the crosshair is the top and the left kinda so they're just hitting the edge I'm gonna click and drag you know uh, and then yeah that seems good enough so I got that selected and then I'm gonna hit delete boom within like two seconds now we got our friggin border if you wanted to change it you, you could uh you know, edit, edit the colors instead of, you know, having white and dragging it over. Or if you wanted to, you know, and you're too lazy to re-chop it and stuff, just go to image, adjustments, um, and saturation. So, saturation, you got this colorize thing right here. So, colorize it, you know, you got to mess with the, the lighting level sometimes for your color to kick in. And then, you know, you can mess around and, you know, get colors, make it brighter, make it darker. You know, so that that's a pretty easy way. It kind of looks cool with a, a black border as, as opposed to a white one. So that's kind of cool. I dig that. But we'll go ahead and mess with uh, just a stock frame that you'll find on the internet. So we're going to use this one that I just dug up that I dig. Um, I'm going to drag this to the sides. And, you know, once again, if you use this and publish this, you know, like a photo using this, this stock frames, definitely... You know, hit up the person that the stock frames or whatever you used uh, used it from. You know, hit hit up their DVD account or whatever, and ask them. You know, if uh, they can. Um, you know, if you can publish something with their stuff. Luckily for these tutorials, I'm not selling this photo or publishing that. I would use probably just a basic white border, but I'm just showing you how do you do it. You know, in kind of a 2011 grungier fashion. So here's what I did. I extended, um, you know, uh, I, I basically stretched it like we've done in a couple other tutorials, so it fills the borders. What I'm going to do is hit W wand, make sure that your tolerance up here is uh, 30 works. The lower you turn this tolerance, the more timid it's going to be, like, watch, I'm going to put it on one, you know, you're not going to get, it's not going to pick a lot, see how picky it is? You know, usually white should just be selected, so I'm going to do 30, boom, everything at once, it's really, really easy. So what I'm going to do is click second clicker, you know, uh, in, in that little border, make sure that your wand or, or marquee is still selected. Second clicker, select inverse. Now I'm selecting basically all this black. And what I'm going to do is 
delete. You know, so we got that. And now we got a friggin' sweet little stocky border. It kind of looks like an old 1970s photo. Um, now, I'm going to do a ton of stuff in a tutorial after this one as far as messing with contrast, brightness, and I'm going to make this all fill out. Because if you look at this, I mean, we got a basis for a really good photo. Um, but his photo, you know, him, I got to boost this lens flare. I do more contrast, make the blacks pop more, um, and then have his face kind of you know, uh, blend in a bit, you know, the size of his head, but I'll show that in uh, the attached DVD bonus stuff that's going to show you how to polish off and get the best out of your photo, but here's a cool little trick as well, it's very easy to do, we still have our border selected right here, um, now I'm going to click it, and go to image, adjustments, um, and then, uh, you know, you could go to brightness, contrast, I'm going to turn it black, you could go to brightness, contrast, or you could just straight up go to this, invert, boom, black, just uh, with a click of a button. So, you know, what I would like to do, and I, you know, once again, I will show you in the next part of the temp, you know, the template, what I'm probably going to do is, um, you know, replace his, his black, uh, you know, not with, not with a replacement color, but I'm going to make sure that his black shirt matches his frame. So he almost blends into the frame. You know, that's going to be a cool little addition to this uh, photo. So that's how you polish it off. You know, so basically we got kind of the, the premise. So we went from this, boom, to all this extra crap. Um, so, you know, hopefully that shows you how to kind of polish up your stuff, you know, on a basic photo, you know, with all these extra cool edits. So what I'm going to do next one, once again, is uh, polish it up, finish this picture off, and make sure that this is a solid work of art. So, you know, tune into that. If you get the DVD, you get, you'll have all this stuff and get to see it but other than that hopefully you guys learn a lot of stuff today and uh yeah lens flares you know vectors grunge um chopping stuff the little border tricks all that stuff so go and check that out and then uh other than that consider getting the dvd hope you guys enjoyed it